Over five decades, so many dedicated journalists have walked the halls and graced the airwaves here at WCVB. Some spent their careers here and others took what they learned onto a much larger stage. And few embody that quite like David Muir, from a fresh-faced reporter on the streets of Boston to the anchor and leader of ABC's World News Tonight, David has never forgotten how it all began. David Muir, welcome back to WCVB virtually. Great to see you, David. It is great to be back. And I have to say that uh, Dorothy, the director, got in my ear right before we did this, Maria, and it was like taking me back uh, to the days when I'd have a live shot at the top of the news out in the field somewhere there uh, in New England. And I, I had a little bit of PTSD. I was wondering, is my story ready? Are we going to make air? In case you were wondering, the now anchor of America's most watched newscast and beloved WCVB alum as a news anchor and reporter David Muir never missed his mark here at Channel 5. As we honor and celebrate 50 years here, David so graciously looks back. What are some of your favorite memories being here? Yeah, I know that's a, it's a tough question to answer because there were so many profound memories, uh, you know, the difficult moments, um, the joyful moments, and there were so many of them. And, and what I remember most is not necessarily what people saw at home. It was behind the scenes at Channel 5 and, and how I felt really the moment I arrived, you know, that whole put me in coach sort of feeling. And the first week I got there, you know, I was out in the field right away doing uh, reporting for, for the evening newscasts. And I'll never forget, Maria, my first report out in the field, I was, I was live in the six o'clock news and I tossed it back uh, at the very end. And I said, reporting live from, you know, wherever I was, Chet and Nat, back to you. And it just kind of rolled off the tongue. And I remember thinking, well, you know, I got back to the newsroom and Natalie kind of walked up to me because it was one of my first times on. And, and I said, well, it was a little presumptuous of me just to call you Chet and Nat right out of the gate. And she <laughs> said, you know what? Uh, you've earned your place here. You belong. And I just thought, you know, that set the standard for the rest of the time there. You know, uh, Chet and Nat, as you know, uh, Boston royalty, and they were so respectful of the team, of the community. I thought, well, this is a special place. I mean, this is One that no matter Maria how far David has gone, he never Ground forgets. Zero. And Maria, you know, one of the things when you walk into Channel 5 um, it, it, is you learn right away that you are part of a much larger thing. You know, I remember looking around the newsroom, I remember right where my desk was, you know, Jack Harper, uh, Janet Wu, Pam Cross, all of these veteran reporters who knew their communities who knew the issues and who cared. And as you continue to do, uh, Maria, yourself, in, in leading the way with Ed uh, every single night about what's really important. And I know it, for Channel 5, it's community, it's connection, it's sort of commitment to the viewer. And you don't say it that way. People just feel it. They sense it. And, and I still do when I tune in. I feel like uh, it's still home for me. And, and I think for anyone coming up through the ranks at Channel 5, I know some of the new reporters who've come along long since you know, I, I left, I'm sure they learn from the moment they arrived what a profound uh, experience it is and, and place that it is, Channel 5, because of the level of caring uh, that goes into every single story, whether, whether it's a story of heartbreak or a story uh, of pure joy. And there's so many um, in between as well. But, but Channel 5 is, is very unique uh, in this whole landscape of local news across the country. Um, and it's important that people at home know that they have a place to turn to that really is taking this uh, seriously, these times seriously, these issues seriously, uh, but not taking ourselves too seriously, that we're really up there with, with everybody at home. And you exemplify that every single night on World News Tonight, David. You truly do. Really, the last thing I want to say is, can you describe WCVB in one word? Oh, in one word, I would say community. Mm. Community. That Channel 5 is and has always been a part of the community. That without that connection, what do you have? You know, that's, I think that's what's made New Center 5 um, so extraordinary uh, for so many years. And, and to think it's marking 50 years of this sort of magical connection uh, with the community, uh, I think is really something that, you know, I'm going to applaud from right here in New York City. And everybody here at ABC knows the power of our ABC station in Boston, Channel 5. 
And David is quick to say he was really shaped by the veteran journalists mm -hmm. that he worked with mm -hmm. here at News Center 5. No, well, undoubtedly. In fact, and, and as he mentioned, the first time he did a live shot with Chet and Nat, he said, now back to you, Chet and Nat. Yeah. The first time I did a live shot with Chet and Nat, it was back to chat. And it, they became one person. It wasn't Chet and Nat, it was chat.